Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. It is 517. Happy Friday for those just waking up, tuning in this morning. We're going to introduce you to Cooper today for our dog walking forecast. <laughs> How sweet. I know, right? Isn't yes. this a great picture, It Alex? is a wonderful picture. Looks like it was a nice day outside, too. Absolutely. Probably sometime in fall or winter. Right. You know, when it's not 150 degrees outside. <laughs> With rain every afternoon. I mean, hey, the rain did cool us off yesterday. It did. Oh, it certainly did, yes. But, yeah. For All those, those outdoor activities, though, not, not yeah. so much. Yeah, like dog walking. Right. Unless you're Eli, in which you go outside and you roll around in the puddles. And, you know, I mean, who wouldn't want to do that, right? In the full-blown storm. Just wants to go. Ha I'm like, we're not doing I this. ran in my car in the full-blown storm. That was fun. You probably stopped, too, and took a few pictures along the way. But, anyhow. I wanted to, but <laughs> it was a little too heavy of rain, and it was getting inside my car. And, you know, anyway. Yes. Here's a look at our dog walking forecast, Alex, where we are tracking those really warm conditions out there through the morning time. Mid-80s showing up by 10 o'clock. Midday, we're around 90 degrees, and then this afternoon, some isolated showers and storms perk up around 2, become more widespread around 4. But if you want to see your dog's picture like Cooper here on Good Day Acadiana, you can send us those pictures. We do love to see them. Hey, we got some rain to track on radar. Franklin, a little shower right there around Highway 90, some more stretching across Marsh Island into Vermilion Bay, and we're starting to see some pop up here even to around Cow Island. Forked Island, yeah, we got some heavier pockets of rain there. Also, right along the immediate Vermilion coastline. Future cast calls for pretty quiet conditions for the next few hours. In fact, through lunchtime, very similar to yesterday, likely seeing a lot of storms out there, or a lot of sunshine out there. Storms show up, though, after 2, 3 p.m., and that's where we'll get some cooling effects. But, you know, future cast not too excited. I think this is a little underdone. Looking at about a 60% chance of rain here on the day. Hub City Tower camera, though. Look at this layer of humidity and fog off in the distance. Ooh, not pleasant. 76 in Lafayette and Borough Bridge. 78 to start your morning off in Gaydon and Intracoastal City. By lunchtime, we are looking at upper 80s to near 90 degrees. There's that isolated storm chance by 1 p.m. And this afternoon, I think generally lower 90s. If you miss out on the rain, though, could reach up to the mid 90s the later in the day we go. This evening, we're going to be watching those rain chances here coming to an end sometime between 6 and 7 p.m., but those temperatures staying really warm. Upper 70s for overnight lows tonight with a little, very little air movement. And then for your Saturday and Sunday, again, those isolated storm chances, but with fewer storms around, hotter temperatures mid 90s for those daytime highs both days. So we'll watch. We could even see a heat advisory back in place. So 30 40 percent chance of rain there for your Saturday Sunday and then going into next week that summer weather kind of sets on in. We should see daily hit and miss storms out there, but otherwise it is going to be a very hot and humid time here in Acadiana. And so we are going to have to watch for some of those rain chances here day in and day out, but that's summertime for you in the south. We are going to be monitoring, though, for those hotter temperatures again Saturday and Sunday, which means that we are going to need to have some cooling abilities, maybe some water, a fan, something like that. The new Bluebell ice cream. Oh, that, that was, was so really good. good. That really was. <laughs> and rarely do I, you know, think about it the next day. But I even went home. It's like we have to get that. No, that it was, was that was some great ice cream. It was indeed. But yes, Adam, we appreciate this, and um, we'll continue to check in. Absolutely. Thank you.